Hello, and welcome to Twow 23A. It looks like I haven't made a Twow episode in three hours, in three days, in three weeks, in three months. Sorry for the ultra-long twiatus, poopers. Life's just been hectic, with Michael and I moving down to Glendale, California, and all that. But with that being said, let me tell all confused viewers to get acquainted with this series by watching Twow Zero A Lidded. No seriously, if you don't know what Twow is, absolutely do not comment I have no idea what's going on lol, and instead, just watch Twow Zero A. It will literally explain everything you need to know about how this YouTube competition works. Here's something cool that deserves a shout out. Over the long break, these two cool chaps, Braided A and Polodo, created a spreadsheet documenting all the mini Twows going on right now. Mini Twow, Noun, an online competition that's like Twow but is not Twow. And there's 66 of them. I always knew Twow had its satanic side somewhere, but to all the hosts of Mini Twows out there, thank you for all your enthusiasm in keeping this community alive and bustling with more activity even when I can't quite provide that. But let's distance ourselves from the devil for now, and instead turn to the epitome of angelic holiness, the mighty midge. He was eliminated last time, and has this eulogy to say to all of you. Hello everyone! First of all, if you told me that at the start of Twow, I would finish 5th, I would have thought you were mad. So thanks to everyone who has voted and supported me over the past year. I am incredibly happy with my performance. Minor controversies aside, it was really fun to be a part of it, and I thank Carrie and everyone involved in the community for making this an experience I will probably never forget. As always, I will be watching from the sidelines, and I wish the best to the four remaining. I have no way of telling who will win as the quality is so high. I know I may not have been the most sympathetic character at times, so I will be trying to step back into the community and hope that we can all enjoy the roller coaster ride that is 10 Words of Wisdom together. All that's left is to say a final goodbye and another good luck to the final four. I have my eyes on you. <laughs> Midge out, puts on a MAGA hat, and swan dives off a cliff. Aw oh, Midge, goodbye, you will be missed. And wow Riley, you are way too cruel. A few months ago, former Twower Diamond Cup 67 proved he was intolerant of BFDI style mouths. Bye guys, but... So how do you like this, Diamond Cup 67? This making you feel real comfortable? Another announcement, I'm going to VidCon. There's going to be a sort of BFDI and an Admin Insanity meetup on Saturday at 2pm in Anaheim, and to find out more about it, check the link in the description. Now let's just dive into confessionals? Joseph Howard confused his glue stick for chapstick. Mr. Tweester now wants to be called the Sun Kid, which is definitely a lot more lively than his last nickname. Anyway, this solar child had his book redrawn again by Lauren Pretzel. Now he's got a more unified look, and sunglasses that help protect his eyes from the light coming from himself. What? How do these work exactly? Now, Meester said he'd record himself saying his own criminally long confessional, but he never did. Oh wait, he did. Hey everybody, it's Meester Tweester. I'm running two Discord servers now. If you're a Meester Tweester fan, hang out at the Meester fan server. There's even a channel where you can ask me anything, at any time. I care a lot about all my fans and try to respond to all your messages. You all mean so much to me since I've wanted to be internet famous ever since I joined the internet. I play Smash Bros as a hobby, and I'm running a server with tournaments now. In March, the same Simon Domino that was mentioned in BFDI came in with some amazing Pac-Man skills to win the tournament. Last confessional, in December 2016, I gave out another cipher for everyone to solve. A few have solved parts of it, but no one could solve the entire thing. I won't tell how to get to this solution, but deciphered the cipher reads, Joseph has fame, midnight is grand, if someone plays games, Image is banned. Much like my cipher, my book last episode paid tribute to all the other living Twowers. Now that Twow Season 1 is nearing its end though, I decided to revert back to a more classic Meester book. Illustrated by my good friend and artist Lauren Teasel, the words sunny side up have been replaced by an up arrow in the center. To be honest, my Meester Tweezer alias has become much more popular than my former gaming tag sunny side up so I'm fine with it being removed. The sun has not fully disappeared though, because our sun meester kind of glows. Lastly, 
I finally put on my sunglasses designed after the Grey Baron's cosmetic I wear in Team Fortress 2. It's an honor to be a part of the final four of 12. I hope these last episodes will be a great time to everyone. Oh, I feel bad. Since three months have passed, I bet a lot of those Discord servers have moved on, metamorphized, or dwindled away without me knowing. But you can all still check them out by going to the links littered. Midnight Light decided to change her nickname from the not-so-nice-sounding Scandal Survivor to the super-nice-sounding Lunar Lady. Also, she had her longest confessional so far, which will be read gracefully by Grassy. Hey yo guys, good luck everyone! I'd be happy with anyone winning it by this stage. <coughs> Anyways, I'm here to bring you an ad, because I'm shameless. First off, join this fab mini twirl made by the awesome Alex Lane 0511. <coughs> Link at https slash slash discord.gg slash rs5 bf6. Also, a shout out to some other great mini twirls, Dark Smellies and Spackies. I'd advertise mine, but I'm happy that it's smallish. Golden 3. Anyways, good luck everyone. Midnight edited. Oh, I feel bad. Since three months have passed, I bet a lot of those Discord- Didn't you already say that? Weren't you only relevant a year ago? <laughs> now finally, we've got board game expert Yasoin, who thinks his nickname is sufficient. Just like your response is- <laughs> Yasoin said, A party of four, the most uncertain and luck-based number of attendees for a party. Hope I roll well! Oh, and thanks for watching everyone! Your support is super appreciated! Hooray! So that's all the confessionals. Up next, let's hear the 23rd 12 prompt. It's the last puzzly one of the season, so remember to shed a tear or two. Ten colors raced to get away from the 2020 zombie outbreak. One cheated. Describe which one without using the letter A. That scrumptious prompt was provided graciously by the Tower of Power Jumma Talk over to Alex Lion 0511, an amateurish not pro. Our fantastic four Towers each submitted two responses to that prompt, and only their better scoring response will count. The lowest scoring contestant will be eliminated next, one spot away from the glorious Twow podium. Also, no prizes will be awarded from here on out, so ranking first is only going to win you bragging points. But how will their scores even be determined? By you viewers voting, of course! In your humble opinion, judge which responses you think were the funniest, most clever, most poetic, and just in general, good. Remember, you viewers can vote whether you're a contestant or not by commenting on this video. So how do you vote? Pause the video at a random spot in the green rectangle. Type the keyword you see in the upper right, space. Rank the entries from best to worst using these letters. Surround it with square brackets. Done. You can comment other stuff too, and you can vote more than once. But there's no point voting more than once, because you see all 8 responses on the same voting screen. So just vote once. You guys can vote up until the June 26th, 2017 at 10 p.m. UTC. Now last time, we did Twow voting almost six months ago, when I had this many subscribers. Now I have this many, so I'm hoping a lot more of you vote this time. Give me that deliciously large sample size so the data looks smoother. But wait, this time there's only eight responses to vote amongst, so your vote will only have the letters A through H in them. It's pretty simple. Now let's see those lovely Twow 23 entries. A few videos ago, I played a snippet of a Themes and Variations composition I wrote for my AP Music Theory class back in 2012. Some people wanted to hear the whole thing, so here it is.
Bye Twowers! I hope to see you all in Twow 23B! But one last thing before I go, and that is three months worth of Twow fan art. To make scrolling easier, I decided to look at only images this time, so no videos. But there is this one awesome music video that former Twower John Dubuck animated, so at the end, I'll show you that. Okay, bye now. Yeah.